So over the last five, six years, we've been involved in that public sector. So we've done lots of work in there, as you probably know. We've seen a lot of changes in the public sector as we've moved forward. So in the early days when we started the cloud, we saw a lot of things, companies looking at small pieces of software. So they'd pick off the non-crucial, non-critical pieces of software and say, let's test that in the cloud first of all. So things like PBCS, HCM, the non-mission critical applications. So we started seeing those as what they're doing. What we're now seeing is customers are now taking everything. They're going for the big bang approach, taking everything, looking to implement everything they possibly can. So places like Camden, Lambeth, where we've just won two big deals, are looking to do absolutely everything. What we're now seeing is there's a lot of confidence in the, in the public sector. They're now much more confident. As you probably know, we're working across the public sector in the whole of the world. So we work in about 50 countries. So we're, we're not just relying on the UK, we're looking everywhere. In terms of the public sector, we're not only talking about councils either. We're also talking about the NHS organisations. As you probably know, we've been doing Morecambe Bay for the last six months now, and they're just about to go live with the ERP solution. We've also got 40 NHS organisations, which we're now just about to migrate from on-premise to the cloud. So a huge win for us and a huge benefit, but it's a huge task to actually migrate all these guys and get them all up and running. We've also got some other public sector clients in terms of the Crown Estate and British Transport Police who are also going live now and they're using the applications and looking to benefit from them as well. So I think it's safe to say that the public sector is really looking good in UK and we're really going well.